Already we have this totally delightful lady um, who is now almost exactly a month um, from her extended deep plane face neck lift. This is sort of a world standard uh, facelift that is not very commonly done in this region. Uh, not at all done in this region, best as I can tell. We've just looked at a bunch of before and after pictures, sort of every angle. And again, this is only one month out. Tell us, what's your, uh, what's your immediate impression on looking at those pictures? I just love the way I look. Um, before I had this procedure done, I would look in the mirror feeling 30, but I would look in the mirror feeling 60, 70. So now when I look in the mirror, I see a beautiful young woman again. And so that's a big deal. You know, uh, this is a lady, she's confident, she's doing all kinds of things with her life. But you know, you look in the mirror and sometimes people tell us that what just what she's saying, what she sees in the mirror and how she feels internally, kind of there's a mismatch. And so we want to just get people back to sort of, you know, sort of as they put it, looking how they feel. And so that's great. That's great. This is a very early, um, uh, take it's about a month out. We'll give a little few other updates as we go along. So I'm just doing a little bit of a close-up on the incisions on this facelift, an extended deep plane facelift. She looks really good. You can see sort of the overall context and the incision. This is four weeks out. The incision is sort of right here. Comes here like this. Comes behind this tragus like this, and comes down here. And then under the hair tie, if you look very closely. It's sort of un under here like this and starts like this. You'll see some facelifts, they're out on the internet, okay? And if you look closely, they extend the incision all the way up here like this, up here all the way to here. We don't love that incision. Uh, we think it's never completely invisible. Let's go behind the ear and take, take a look there. Remember, this is four weeks out. This incision will get better and better and better. So you can see there's the incision here and here. There's a teeny bit of redness, but that's nothing it ends right here. And then if you peel the ear back just a teeny bit, there's the incision there. I just wanted to give you that little update on how our incisions are going, and that's exactly how we like to see them go. She's doing great. She's happy, so we're happy. So thanks so much.